What's up people? This is Ekibaru here at Flodeco and today I want to showcase you the difference between a pre-stressed T-beam it has a T version in a car earlier, SDR really and this product here is called a flat beam both of these products are all precasted products they do a similar job but one of them is superior in many ways so let me start with the pre-stressed T-beam the pre-stressed T-beam is produced from a T-mold it has three wires on the flat surface and one on the top and they're all stretched up stretched they're stretched to a limit of half a meter so if this is one meter wire well, the moment you stress it you get 1.6 meters a flat beam is flat in shape and it has almost six one two three four five six almost six wires but this has four but guess what? Producing this flat beam is cheap because it costs about 500 shillings in the market while the pre-stressed T-beam costs double. Why do the price vary? During the installation of a flat beam, it needs to be supported by timber props. While the installation of a T-beam requires no timber props. So the amount of money that you save by buying the T-beam at the half the cost of this is also taken up by the cost of buying timber. So get it correct. Then, the concrete topping, you can see the way the, the pre-stressed T-beam locks in, that, in tandem with, you can see the way it fits precisely. So this tells you the concrete topping will be very minimal, at most 50 millimeter. It can go higher up to 65 in case you have big pipes because the surfaces go float on the surface. While the pre-stress flat beam, the block will leave a lot of space. The blocks that works with these are pretty much different than what we use. So you as a shopper, you're looking to buy a precast member for your slab. And now you're confused between pre-stress T-beam or the flat beam. You're more likely to buy the flat beam because the price is very within your range. But there's some hidden cost that comes along this product. While the T-beam doesn't have any cost that is hidden. For instance, we tell you this doesn't need any support with timber. This will need support with timber. The other thing is, this can span longer. Perhaps I have a room which needs a 5 or 6 meter length for a T-beam. This cannot span beyond maximum 5 meters. This can span up to 6.6 .6 meters, meaning you can also use them double or triple. And that is the cost analysis and the production cycle. So the concrete used to produce a T-beam is much at class 60. What this, by just the look of it, is probably class 30 thereabouts. So the production cost for concrete is way cheaper than this. Even the mass of concrete used here compared to this is also different. So the cost of these is varied because the production cost is very high. And the engineering behind a pre-stressed T-beam is not the same as a flat beam. I hope this is very clear. If you're shopping, now you know the difference. Thank you for tuning into my channel. This is Eki Barrel Flood Deco. You can always subscribe to my channel and I blog about precast products all the time. Karibuni!